the warrior, yes. Superman, yes. the maniac, Do you have it? all champions, all perfect scores. Do you have it? Off the aerial break, on the track, in the gym, on the field, in the pool, and on the crag. Now, they're head to head to head for the first time. Guts All-Stars. Watch as the extreme competition takes over Snick tonight at 8, 7 central. Kill Superman. Guts. The Maniac. Do you have it? All champion. All perfect scores. Do you have it? Off the aerial bridge. On the track. In the gym. On the field. In the pool. Agro crack. And on the crack. Now they're head to head to head for the first time. <laughs> Guts. All stars. The extreme competition begins. It takes a certain kind of person to get the body working to the level of precision that's needed to be risen to the top. Do you have it? It takes a certain kind of something to keep the heart pumping, something everybody needs to achieve to succeed. You'll need a lot. Do you have it? Competition tonight. Only former champions get to compete, and our players will be competing in their way through seven events, six of which are brand new stream arena, and then of course our most mountainous challenge, the aggro crack. Once again, the player with the most points at the end of all of our events will, and he or she will be the first one to have their name inscribed on our Guts All-Stars trophy. And to top it off, for competing in our ex competition, Guts All-Stars will establish a college scholarship fund for each of our players. And joining me for a preview of tonight's event is our referee, Mo Report and Mo, the extreme, brimming with excitement, getting a look at our players and champions competing in some new events. What's our lineup look like tonight? It's a tough lineup that will challenge our perfect school champions all over the extreme arena, Mike. First up, we have our new Elastic Sports Event Rebound, a true head-to-head -head challenge where all three players go after the same ball. Second is basic training, but basic about this course. There'll be seven obstacles instead of the normal five. The third event is on the track for Tornado Run, the all-terrain race against nature's fury. Fourth is Hang Ten, a surfing challenge in our wave pool. Next is the tug of war on the gridiron we call Fumble. Sixth, we go back on the track for the radical car race Mad Max. And seventh is Slam Dunk, the ultimate statement in elastic sports. And so then after facing those seven events, they will face off against a crag with Boulder Canyon now between them and their first actuator. And then 28 feet of raging rock to climb after that. <laughs> yes, Mike, yes. Remember, to win their first championship, our players had to go through four events and then the crag. This time to be an all-stars champion, they'll have to go seven rounds of action before they get to that rock. So a lot of activity for our players tonight. It looks like it's going to take versatility, endurance, and grace under pressure to win this competition. One thing we know they all have, Mike, guts. We'll be right back. Do, 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 do you have it? Guts! So perfect scores on the line when Superman, the maniac, and the warrior face off 12 feet in the air in rebound when Guts All-Stars return. Nickelodeon Guts will return in a moment. The ultimate Nickelodeon Guts Challenge. The Radical Rock. The Acro Crag. Now bigger, meaner, and more mountainous than ever. Watch Nick put kids on the crag. This Monday at 5.34.30 Central, only on Nick. And now back to Nickelodeon Guts. It takes a certain kind of something to keep the heart pumping, something everybody needs to achieve to succeed. You'll need a lot. Do you have it? Do, 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 do. do you have it? Welcome back to the Extreme Arena, home of Nickelodeon Guts. 
now, let's meet our all-stars! Once again, in the bodacious blue from Stewart Middle School, Mike Superman Schmidt! In the red, Beijing red from Edgewater Middle School, Jana, the warrior, whoa, 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 whoa. off the aerial bridge and it's a new elastic sport we call rebound you're going for the rebound crashing the boards with dennis rodman patrick ewing and akeem elijah on no way you say well on our new event the re is yours now remember folks all of our events here on guts have been specifically designed with our players safety in mind everyone will be wearing safety equipment and will be supervised by our professional stunt director and spotters at all times so please do not try these at home. And now let's go to referee Mora Quirk for the rules. Mo! Mike, at the sound of my whistle, all three players will jump off their aerial bridge towards the center post. Players will have seven chances to grab the rebound. The player with the most rebounds wins. Mike. Okay, and while our players are getting ready, let's take a look at the smart moves for this event. In rebound, there are things to remember one getting there first. Number two, of course, grabbing it. You need the strength to ball if contact is made and off a lot of commotion at of that rebound where players are grabbing for the basketball. After that, number three, holding on. You have to have the competitiveness to keep after the ball if it comes loose. Let's go to Mo for the start. Players on your mark, get set. And we're looking at form here, folks. As they go up there, who's gonna get there first? And all three of our players are showing their competitiveness right there as they all run up and attack the ball, not one of them coming back with it. See what happens in the next one. On your mark, get set. And concentrating as they go up. All three going up that time, and the Maniac bringing that back for her first rebound, and they get ready to go again. Okay, on your mark, get set. All right, and so our players battling for their first rebound. Who's going to get it? All three of our players going up for it. And that's the Warrior bringing that back. On your mark, get set. One for red, one for purple. Who will get this one? Oh, blue and red fighting for it. Blue and red still fighting, competing for the basketball. Who will grab away? Superman and the Warrior. It looks like they're kicking each other and grabbing on, and the Superman took that off. That is, they both get the score on that one because they grabbed it from the rebound and brought it back down. Okay, on your mark, get set. All right, and so up again, the Warrior. And the Warrior is in the lead with two now, one for Superman and one for the Maniac. On your mark, get set. Two more rebounds, let's see who ends up with what. As they battle it again, all three of our players, and the Maniac catching it right before it hit the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, what a competition. Two for the Maniac right here, so we have one more. We have a tie between red and purple, one for our blue player. Who will get? On your mark, set. All three players jump it up. Which one's it gonna be? The Warrior takes it home. Battling her way to that last rebound. Let's go to Mo and check out our results. Mo. Winning our first event, Jana in red with three. And second place, Kelly in purple with two. And third place, Mike in blue with one. So, the Warrior holding on to her, her score. Take a look, our players both grab for it right here and both hold on to it, fighting their way, Superman and the Warrior, and straight to the ground. To, well, they both took the reason down to the ground. And, and let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard standings. Mo. Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Jana in red. And second place with 200 points, Kelly in purple. And third place with 100 points, Mike in blue. So the Warrior holding on to her perfect score. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Spill Your Guts. When Mike Superman Schmidt faced his first Guts challenge, he was after one thing. Fame! And that's just what 13-year-old Superman is headed for, unless one of our other All-Stars is packing kryptonite. With a perfect score, his first time out, Mike set the pace in every event. And here's 7.5 inches, here's the jump! Not a problem at all, people! Bang! Right through there, he's coming over the last jump! It's gonna be a good time! We got 15 seconds left. 
and conquered the... It's purple, then blue, but no, purple missed the actuator, and so did red! So what does Mike have to say about his perfect score performance? I've been called Superman for the past month or so. This super-powered competitor never backs down from a challenge. Yeah! And our next event, basic training. Our players will be competing in an all-star version of basic training. That is anything but basic, ladies and gentlemen. We have pulled out all the stops and obstacles to create a challenge that none of our players have ever faced. They're going to start at Moe's Whistle through the tire crawl, and then they'll make it up the cargo net to the Tarzan swing. Come swinging across that and get on that platform and hustle their way across the tightrope walk, down into the free fall airbag, and then right into the elastic jungle where stretch our mascot is, but we'll get the mascot out of there. They're going to come barreling out of that and then up the wall climb, down the slide for life, into the pool for a little wet plunge. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo! Mike, our players will be timed from starting line to splashdown. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. Thanks, Mo. Before Superman takes on basic training, let's get the smart moves for the paddle on this one. Number one, the faster you go, the better you're... Number two, slip-ups cost time. And number three, aggressiveness. The player who goes for it usually gets it. Let's see what Mike can do. Mo. On your mark, get set. All right, and so the Superman gets into the tire crawl and right through that. And up the cargo net. Having some trouble up the cargo net. He's getting ready to get on the Tarzan swing. And across the Tarzan swing, onto the platform. As he holds steady across the tightrope walk, taking big steps, getting onto the next platform. And into the free foul bag. Good form as he rolls out. He's going into the elastic jungle right now, and he decides to go low. More elastics than ever in our elastic jungle here. And the Superman battling his way through the elastic jungle as he climbs up the wall climb. And now going down into the slide for life. He is at 40 seconds right now, plunging into the water. And you can see our finish line right there. Our players must plunge into the pool beyond that finish line. The Superman doing a super job on that last event. Let's go to Mo for the results, Mo. Uh, Superman clocked in at 41.8 seconds, Mike. All right. So Superman showing his speed, and the Warrior's up next. On your mark, set. Ladies and gentlemen, the Warrior has never lost an event here on Guts. She makes it through the tire crawl and up the cargo net, where Superman had some trouble, but she seems to be making up time here. Speed extremely important at this event as she goes across the Tarzan swing. And right here it shows you how important balance is. The warrior living up to her nickname once again as she rolls into the airbag. The time to beat 41.8. Remember, folks, she has never lost an event on guts. Going through the elastic jungle, though, she's having trouble right there. She goes low and has trouble. The time to beat 41.8. She's got a hustle. Trouble in the elastic jungle. She's up the wall climb and down the slide for life. Will she beat the time to beat? And so, we will go to Mo for the official results. The Warrior clocked in at 43.4 seconds. All right, so thumbs up from the Warrior. Let's see what the Maniac can do. On your mark, get set. All right, the Maniac took second place in our first event, and she dives right through the tire crawl, rolling out, showing her gymnastic ability right there, and up the cargo net. Her strong legs getting her up the cargo net and across the Tarzan swing. She's at 13 seconds right now, folks. Keeping her balance, going straight on. That's her momentum on the tightrope walk as she falls into the free fall bag and rolling out 41.8 seconds. The warrior had trouble in the elastic jungle, and the maniac decides to stand up. So a challenge few of our players take here on gut standing up through the elastic jungle, but she makes it through. Folks, she can beat this time. I'll get 300 points for first place. As she struggles up, it's going to be close, folks. Plunging into the water. And let's go to Mo for the results now. The Maniac came in at 42.9 seconds, so that puts Mike in first place, Kelly in second place, Jaina in third place. And so if this is any indication of our players' competitiveness, only two seconds between our players. Take a look at the warrior as she throws herself into the elastic jungle. But this is where she had trouble. Going low, getting caught up all over the elastic as she tried to barrel her way through that, but finally pulled herself through.
taking third place in this event. And here's Mike the Superman showing his strength, aggressively holding on to the slide for life, legs up and into the pool for a first place finish for the Superman. Let's go to the leaderboard. Well, Mike, I think this is an indication of how close this competition is going to be. All of our players have 400 points. 400 points, folks. Tight score after two events. This is what it's all about on All Stars. All of our players, big time, stick around. Tornado run coming up. Nickelodeon Guts will return in a moment. And now back to Nickelodeon Guts. It's all tied up, folks, as our players get ready for Tornado Run, our next event, which brings the fury of nature to the arena. Tornado Run, a race through all sorts of terrain, and our players will be making their way after the start. They've got rivers to cross, those rivers to cross. They, they're gonna have to make it through a rock quake, through a urn, as they go into the jungle vines that they will have to fight through, and then into the final turn before they go into a treacherous swamp fog waiting to bog our players down. Who will survive to the finish first? We're about to, let's go to Mo for the rules. Players will start at the sound of my whistle and race around the track. They threw over every obstacle and penalties will be added for any chance. First player over the finish line wins. Let's find out our smart moves for this event. One, off the block. A quick start essential. Number two, flat out speed. An easy way to get ahead in the straightaways. Number three, determination. Head to head to head competition to position on the obstacle. You have them. Now let's go to Mo to start the race. Mo. Okay, Mike. Players on your mark, get set. And from the starting line into the rivers, who will get across that river first? It's the warrior. The warrior followed by Superman and the maniac. The warrior making it through the rocking earthquake. And right followed by Superman. The warrior's into the jungle vines first, the hole. And she's climbing up over the second portion. It's warrior. Warrior's into the treacherous swamp fog. She falls. She fell, but she got back up and across the finish line. Who will come in second? It looks like Superman second, and then the Maniac across the finish line right there. So our judges will be going over the results with Mo, and then we will get them from Mo. Mo, talk to me. In first place, Jana in red. In second place, Mike in blue. In third place, Kelly in purple. Oh, as I said, off the block, first, very important, and the warrior, determination, sheer determination to get across that river first, followed by Superman and the Maniac into the earth and then came out of the earthquake still the concentration determination she saw that hole no hesitation as she dove through the hole and right up the jungle vines in the second portion climbing right over i mean jumping down first right here flat out speed she needed to finish the last obstacle of our event the fog and after she was coming right across the finish line right there a little hesitation but she knew she won in that event and now let's take a look at the leaderboard mo well right now our warrior is in the lead with 700 points our superman in second with 600 points our maniac in third with 500 points only 200 points between our first place player and our third place player and now once again it is time for spill your guts how do you make a guts all-star for the kid? Add a tough nickname, some confidence. They don't have a prayer. And a first place finish in every event she's ever played. She's down on him for the elastic jungle. She comes in at the last scratch. She's coming in sideways. She's got to get there. Yes. Oh, look at that purple player slipping. And then Janna the warrior. She is the warrior today. Who have you got? Janna the warrior wearing. We have it. Bet on it. And that rollicking wave ball is going to transform our guts pool into a raging ocean. Our players are going to get on this surfboard, see how many buoys they can get while challenging those waves. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Well, Mike, at the sound of my whistle, they will have 30 seconds to collect as many buoys as they can. Players must keep the buoys on their arms, and the player who collects the most wins. Mike. 
All right, now let's check out our smart moves on this one. Number one, fearlessness. Players can't hesitate when those waves roll over them. Number two, vision. You've got whole pool, so you know where all the buoys are. Number three, coordination. Keeping your body on the board and your arms pumping. We'll see what our players can do in this next event. Let's go to Mo for the start. On your mark, get set. Okay, so Superman battling those waves, folks, as he goes into the corner to pick up the first two buoys. Now, as we said, peripheral vision, you've got to have a real good idea of where all the buoys are in the pool so you know where to make your next move. His balance, no problem here. He's got about six buoys right here with only 10 seconds left. He may get all of them, folks. The waves are not bothering him at all. The Superman is afloat with plenty of buoys. Five seconds, time running out right here as he continues to make it through. All right, and so we will go to Mo and find out the results. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Well, our Superman Mike collected all 10 buoys with a couple of seconds to spare. All right. All 10, folks. Coordination and peripheral vision. He knew where they were, then he had to coordinate himself to get to where they were, seeing all of the buoys, but maintaining his balance on the board while he paddled and held on to all 10 buoys. That's going to be a tough one to match as the Superman gets dried off. Let's go to Mo. On your mark, get set. OK, so the warrior getting out, battling those waves. Those waves out there, folks, created by that wave ball right there. That is the North American premiere of the wave ball here on Guts, creating waves up to three to four feet high, transforming our pool into a raging Guts ocean. And so the warrior right here was six seconds. Time is running out here. Looks like she has about four buoys right here, or five. So unable to get the other portions of the pool where the other buoys were. We'll go to Mo for her results. Mo. Jana collected four buoys, Mike. All right, so the warrior with four buoys. Let's take a look at the replay here. And she was leaning back on the board right here. The waves were throwing her all over the pool. Harder to fight against the waves because she was, wasn't balanced fully across the entire board. She was leaning her weight back on the back of the board. That hurt her in her forward motion as she was going to try to grab onto some of the other buoys. So we'll see what the Maniac can do in this event. On your mark, get set. OK, and so the Maniac goes into this event grabbing the first buoy. She's holding onto the board with one hand, but she doesn't have her legs on the back end of the board. There she is. She's got her balance back right here. And you can see those waves knocking those buoys up against the wall. She has two right here, folks, going for her third. But remember, she needs seven for first place points. She needs at least one, five, I'm sorry, one more to beat Jenna the Warriors. She may have grabbed it right there. Time running out. Grabbing for a sixth buoy, a seventh buoy. I believe at the buzzer. So we'll go to Mo for her results. Mo. Kenny came in with seven buoys, so that puts Mike in first place, Kelly in second place, and Jana in third place. All right, so let's take a look right here at Kelly's performance. Balance, extremely important. She's holding on to the board right here as she's collecting seven buoys. And you can see herself leaning forward. She has her entire body stretched out along the length of the board, which enabled her to get those seven buoys. Good work for her. Let's go to the leaderboard. Well, right now, Superman Mike is still in the lead with 900 points. In second place, close behind our warrior Jana with 800. In third place, Maniac Kelly with 700 points. Four down, three to go before they get to the crack. They'll need all the stamina, all the skill, and all at the top of the show, we said that they would have to show us all the versatility, endurance, and grace under pressure. They've definitely shown us here tonight. They certainly have playing to their hardest degree and showing us how well honed they've kept their skills since we saw them last season. I know it's amazing that they can come in here and challenge themselves against four new events they've never tried before and rise to that challenge and compete the way they have.
Very nice, Let's Mike. take a look at the leaderboard and see where we stand right now. Well, our uh, Superman Mike in blue is in the lead right now with 900 points. We'll see how long he can keep hold of that. Our warrior Janet in red is coming in strong with 800 points. And Kniak in purple coming in with 700 points right so, now. So that's a look at where they stand at halftime. Now let's take a look at how they got there. And as we look at our first event, rebound. All of us going up, trying to get the basketball rebound on the first one. No one got it. And then we go into the basic training event where Mike the Superman climbed all climb. Good speed as he held on to the slide for life. He came plunging into our pool and plunging into a first place finish in that event. The warrior dove through the jungle vines in tornado run. And that did not slow her down as she climbed up over the second portion of our jungle vines and then jumping down, giving herself all the speed necessary to come through that treacherous swamp fog and finish in base in Tornado Run. And then finally, as we take a look at Kelly, the coordination right here. Seven buoys as she balanced herself and held on in that last event, Hang 10. So the competition has been really intense so far, Mo. It's been stupendous, Mike, stupendous. Okay. okay, well, I know you have to get down on the field. We will continue our halftime festivities. And I am now here with the warrior, the maniac, and Superman. And Jenna, in that first halftime of events, your energy up. Well, I go to gymnastics and practice for four hours a day, and I think that's what's helping me a lot. And without that, I don't know what I do. <laughs> Let's take a look at the reap here, and you can describe for us what happened in our first event, a rebound, as you went jumping off the aerial bridge. What were you trying to do here? I was just trying to capture the ball before anyone else and get the head start, and it looks like I did. And me and Mike kind of tied and got at the same time, and we just fought and fought with it, and we kept going, and then the next thing I knew, it just got on my hands. Touching the ground, both point in that last event. So, Superman, how did you ex how was your experience on Guts the first time help you so far in our competition here tonight? Well, I just looked back and trying to find out what I did good and use it to my advantage this time, and see what I did not try not to do it this time. So let's take a look at the replay right here, and you can describe for us what happened. Okay, well, right here I'm just trying to get the bit. Right here, I'm just trying to get the nose up of the pool, of the board and just trying to get the buoys as many, as many as I can and get fast enough to get the other ones, too. Just trying to get them up as fast so as I can. staying on the board, getting all 10 buoys. 10 out of a possible 10 for the Superman. And Kelly, how does it feel to go head-to-head -head against two people with perfect scores? It's a challenge, all right. They're very skilled, and all of us are, and I have no idea what's going to happen, and it's very hard. All right, let's take a look at your replay right here. You can describe for us what happened in our basic training event. The time to beat was 41.8 seconds. You went up the wall. I had difficulty going up there. I had to struggle getting up there. And right up here, see, right there, I had to pull myself as hard as I could because I kind of lost my grip. And then I went up here as fast as I could. And then right here, I went down. And then when I came to the finish line, I tried to pull my legs up and just let go. Our great work for all of our players in our first half. Are you looking forward to the second half? Sure am. What do you think? I hope to have a great time. And Superman, looking forward to a second half? Yeah, I don't know. They're, too, they're good. All right, well, I know our players have to get down into their football gear for our next event, a fumble. Let's go to the halftime activities with our mascot, Stretch. with us for some pigskin action, but don't fumble. Guts All-Stars returns. Guts! Nickelodeon Guts will return in a moment. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Guts! Only Nickelodeon would give you a whole week of guts. Weekend Warriors rejoice. It's a new season at a new time. Every weekday, every afternoon, your chance to see fiercer competition, tougher obstacles, and a meaner, bigger aggro crag. Get in on the action sports this Monday at 5.30, 4.30 Central. Only on Nick. And now, back to Nickelodeon Guts. Guts is playing. Guts is trying. 
his energy so he's right Got to strength, got to valor Equals bravery, equals power Welcome back to Guts All-Stars, the action sports show that asks, do you have it? No! Going to kick off our second half event, a new elastic sports event, Fumbo. Imagine Emmett Smith running for a touchdown. He said, the football is loose, Fumbo! Got to have quick hands for this event, Fumbo. Let's go to Muff for the rules. Well, Mike, at the sound of my whistle, all three All-Stars will have 45 seconds to recover as many fumbles as possible. Players may grab more than one football at once, and only the footballs in each player's basket will be counted. The player with the most recoveries wins. Let's find out our smart moves for this of number one. We must have our players with good versatility, right? And pulling your way to every loose ball. Two, you have to react to the bounce immediately. And number three, decision-making. You have a split second to decide whether to throw the ball into your bucket or run it back okay mo let's kick it off players on your mark get set all right so our players going after the fumbles right here and it looks like kelly has one football throwing the maniac putting one football in her basket i believe she's in the lead with one as football's raining on our floor kelly with another one and two she's in the lead with three she is in the lead red with one blue with one our players scrambling on the ground the complete craziness of this last event. Uh, let's go to Mo for the results. Mo. Well, coming in first was Kelly the Maniac in purple with <laughs> 10 recovered fumbles. In second place, Mike in blue with five. In third place, Jenna in red with four. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, our players showing their ball technique. As you see, the foot speed important as she is getting pushed and pulled and her decision making. She's holding on to the footballs and not going back to the bucket. And right here she decides, rather than go for that last one, but she had held on to him for too long. She lost that one right there. That could have really affected her score. And then we go to the maniac right here who took first place in this event. She tries, she goes back, she gets knocked to the ground and then gets back up. Her quick decision to throw it into the basket right there. Missing, but putting it right in right there. And another one right there. Great work for Kelly. And let's take a look at the leaderboard now. Well, Mike the Superman is still hanging on to the lead with 1,100 points. Coming in second, Kelly in purple with 1,000 points. In third place, Janet in red with 900 points. Come on, folks, it don't get better than this. The big spin's been put away, but the game's not over yet. Our competition coming down to the wire with only two more events between our players and the crowd. When we come back, Apocalypse on the loose and slam dunk. And now back to Nickelodeon Guts. It takes deep dedication, new medication, just some discipline. Look at him again, look at him. Do you have it? Welcome back to Guts All-Stars, ladies and gentlemen, where there is still only 200 points. Our first place player, third place player, and they are getting ready for our next event, Mad Max. The Extreme Arena has been turned into a post nuke cataclysmic world, and we will be making a mad dash through several obstacles. A post-nuclear apocalypse, our players are going to be making it through the junkyard, and after making it through the junkyard, they're then going to go into the speed bumps. For that, they will then turn to potholes pass and making it through those potholes maneuvering their three-wheel bike through that they'll then come in for a crash finish to our dead end then after the dead end across the finish line let's go to Mo for the rules Mo well Mike at the sound of my whistle each player will will race around the track players must go through or over every obstacle and time penalties needed for any violations Time wins Mike while Superman gets strapped in let's talk about the smart moves for this event number one control sacrificing flat out control over the more difficult obstacles will save time number two cord master wheel bike and steering with and number three fearlessness yeah dead end at full speed to cross the finish line fastest mo kick it off superman on your mark get set all right so there's superman down the ramp and into the junkyard 
good speed as he makes it through there. He goes in with 1,100 points. He is our winner and making it through the speed bumps, not slowing him down at all. Into pothole pass, maneuvering his bike through that, steering, no problem. And through the dead end finish, across the finish line, Superman flying through that last event. Let's go to Mo for the results. Well, Mike clocked in at 19.7 seconds, Mike. Oh, man. Let's take a look at the Superman right here. Now, we talked about control and the smart moves. He comes flying the speed and going up and down each of the speed bumps. He maintains control. Mastery of the three-wheel bike. Steering wonderful on that last event. And so, as Superman takes a little break right here. We will get the Warriors in and ready to go. She goes into this event in 900 points. She needs a good time here to pick it up. Mo. Warrior, on your mark, get set. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our players, having had competed in so many events so far, the Warrior, speed and fearlessness, definitely her motives in this event. As she comes in a pothole pass, she's at 15 seconds of time to beat, 19.7. She's going to have to come to finish with a quick finish and across the finish line right there, dragging Cinder with her. Coming in with the official time, let's go to Mo. Jaina clocked in at 21.1 seconds, Mike. All right, 21.1 seconds. Warrior, fearlessness going through. These potholes, not letting big holes in the track slow her down. She comes barreling around that last corner and smashing through the dead end finish. Cinder blocks falling all over her, but not slowing her down as she comes across the finish line, 21.1. So the Warrior, who, as I said, went into this event with 900 points, just a couple of seconds after Superman, who, going into this event, had 1,100 points. So the Maniac will get let loose on our track next. She goes into this event with 1,000 points. We'll see what she can do in our Mad Max event right here. And it looks like she's sit and ready to go. Mo, Maniac, her on your mark, get set. All right, we'll see if the Maniac can bring some of her manic energy to this event as she goes through the junkyard, having trouble right there and crashing right into that last tire. That's going to really affect him. Control, extremely important, as we said in this event. And she's unable to get her control back as she crashes again into the guts pool as she came around that last turn. She's making it through the pothole pass. Still aggressive as she comes through the crash finish and showing that she has the guts to finish this race. As she comes across the finish line and clocks in. When we will find out whether or not she incurred any penalties on that. Let's go to Mo. Kelly in purple came in with 38 three seconds, and that includes three off the track penalty marks. Mike came in first, Dana in second, and Kelly in third place. All right, seconds between. Superman and Warrior. Take a look right here as the Maniac skidding right into that tire right there, almost falling out of the bike, but she gets back onto the bike and finished. Let's check out our leaderboard. She's still in first place with 1,400 points and tied in second place with 1,100 points each. The Warrior in red and the Maniac in purple. Once again, time for Spill Your Guts. Kelly, the maniac Marchuka, has no illusions about the All-Stars Extreme competition. I think it's going to be a real challenge. The last time Kelly was in the Extreme Arena, the competition didn't know what hit them. No, there's Kelly right back in there. She's got the momentum on that one right there. Yeah, so Carl Lewis, get ready for Kelly. It looks like it's going to be all Kelly, folks. All Kelly, all alone. This is all Kelly today, folks. No, Kelly's coming back. It's Kelly. All the way with Kelly. Her prediction of tonight's outcome? You never know what's going to happen. Well, in our next event, slam dunk. You're flying through the air, slamming, jamming, stuffing basketballs on an 11-foot net. Can it be real? What do you think you are, Shaquille O'Neal? Well, no, in our last experience, slam dunk, our players will be letting loose with an elastic quarter on their back, shooting at 11-foot high nets and knocking them through that hoop. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Very nice, Mike. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will grab a basketball, jump off the aerial bridge, bounce up and shoot. They'll have 60 seconds to score as many baskets as possible. All three players will compete at the same time and baskets will only count if they are shot after the player touches the ground. And with the most baskets at the sound of the horns wins. Mike. All right, here's a look at our smart moves on this one. Number one, leg power. Even though elastic cords, it's the push off that gives you the spring to get to the hoop. Number 
number two, release. Don't shoot on the way up. Top of your jump and return. We have to get to the aerial bridge as quickly as possible. Our players are ready, so let's go to Mo for the start of our race. Players, on your mark, get set. Okay, in 60 seconds, the determination song on all of our faces. As you can see right there, Superman scoring one right there. Ladies and gentlemen, all of our players showing their finesse and their experience in that event as all of them showing how to dunk the ball and put the ball through the hoop. Let's go for the results to Mo. Mike, another three-way tie. All of our players scored nine baskets. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't, I don't know if you need any more indication of how close Arkin has been here today. Take a look at with fantastic leg going up and putting it right through the hoop on that one and quickly getting back up. And here's the Superman flying right square onto the floor, going back up and putting another one through the hoop and back up to the aerial bridge. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Well, right now, Mike Superman still in the lead with 1,700 points and still tied in second place with 1,400 points each. The Warrior in red and the Maniac in purple. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that's a little basketball for you, but no three-point shots in our next event. No, folks, one shot at a 725-point event. The Crag, our biggest challenge, coming up! Nickelodeon Guts will return in a moment. And now, back to Nickelodeon Guts. It's a little motivation, you can be the new sensation of the nation. If you want to take the challenge, you're going to tell your name this. Do you have it? Do, 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 do. do you have it? And so, ladies and gentlemen, we come to our final event. The biggest challenge our players will go against yet, the Agro Crag event. Our players getting ready, poised and composed, the extreme arena calm before the storm of the crag. Let's go to Mo for our leaderboard standings, Mo. After seven events this time, our Superman Mike in blue is in the lead with 1,700 points and tied in second place with 1,400 points each. Jana the Warrior in red and Kelly the Maniac in purple. So that is a look at how they stand. Now let's take a look at how they got there. The highlights from the second half as the Superman showing his fearlessness, diving after that football and his power powering himself back to the basket and then all over our field right here. And it, Kelly the Maniac showing right here her power as down on the floor, trying to scrape for it, tosses that one towards the basket back again to pick it up and showing right there her power being able to push against the pull of the other players. We go into the Warrior showing control right here to our finish and coming across the finish line to get in finish. And also we take a look at the Maniac having trouble, not good control on our Mad Max event. And then the Superman showing perfect technique on that event. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go into the Agro Crag event. This mountain right here behind me, our biggest challenge for our players, and the smoke and snow and all that our players will be surprised with. The crag is new this time. It's full of difference each, and it's been growing. Now it covers over 3,508 surface area. The race begins at Boulder Canyon, our six-foot rock ledge, which stands between them and the first actuator. Our players can then 
trigger off floods, avalanches, snowstorms, loose leg rolling rocks as they climb. Of course, the sound and fury of a living tin. Our players, ready, Mo, give us the rules. Our all-stars will start off at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now, during that, our players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will receive first place points. Mike. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our game far from over. The points here in the Agro Crag event have skyrocketed. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Third place is now worth 375 points. Second, 550 points. And first, a whopping 725 points. So this, far from over, Mo, kick off our final of... Players, on your mark, get set. And so that whistle means begin the climb up Boulder Canyon. Our guts, all-stars, showing what they're made of. And right there, the maniac, tentative, as she goes to her first actual. The snow and the storm. just shows you how much it is far from over before we decide to run the aggro crag. Let's go to Mo for the results. Here are the placings for the aggro crag. In first place, Jenna in red. In second place, Kelly in purple. In third place, Mike in blue. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the two lady ladies here, our lady all-stars, they had to go one and two to win because Mike, our Superman, was in first place with 1,700 points. They were both tied for 14. And look, as the rocks come tumbling down on all three of our players simultaneously, they are all there in an event, neck and neck, head to head. But it is the warrior who gets to the top of the crag first. And then, who will be the first place player if the Superman can get up? Oh, the Maniac gets in there next. Ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable competition all evening long. Our players showing their athletic prowess Fantastic performances. Let's go to Mo and your final Guts All-Star leaderboard standings. Well, Mike, truly the aggro crag deciding everything between our fine players today. Gosh, um, in third place, Kelly the Maniac in purple with 1,900 active points. In second place, Mike our Superman in blue with 2,075 points. Our winner today, Jana in red, our warrior with two. Ladies and gentlemen, our final lead board, leaderboard shows us what our story has been about all day long. Only 175 points between our first place finisher and our third place finisher. And our third place finisher getting a silver Guts All-Stars plate. And as promised, her $1,000 scholarship. In second place, Mike, also a Guts All-Stars silver plate. And a $1,500 scholarship. And ladies and gentlemen, our champion here today on Guts All Stars with a $2,500 college scholarship. She will be the first person to have her name inscribed on our Guts All Stars trophy. Our players here today proving once again that they are supreme athletes and deserving of the name champion. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids have guts. Do you have it? All guts players compete in athletics. Find you that on Reebok, there are no rules.
What a comeback. Guts All-Stars champ Dana the Warrior has got it. Now you can get it every weekday. That's right, starting Monday, Nickelodeon Guts is on after Hey Dude. Every weekday, a whole new season at a whole new time. Starting this Monday at 5.30, 4.30 Central, only on Nick. You have it. Studios, Orlando, Florida.